Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited with your host and Han Jr. Uh, struggling a little bit with an audio. So oh, there we go. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Everything is working now. Sorry about missing last week. Uh, <laughs> the work and uh, everything else that was going on with life kind of caught up to me pretty hard, so I was not able to uh, to do the stream on Thursday. I was I was wiped, and yeah, I, I, <laughs> let's just leave it at I was wiped. If you remember from two weeks ago, we were in the middle of trying to investigate what was happening with Sunri, a decorated Republic hero and who has been accused of murdering a Sith on the planet Manan. And Manan is the Switzerland of the Knights of the Old Republic verse, which means that um, when uh, <laughs> that, that everybody's there, or maybe Casablanca is a little bit better. Uh, the point is, is that you're there, you're there, and everybody behaves, and you abide by their laws, and they take no sides. And everybody agrees to this because, well, they make a plant that is a key ingredient in med packs, and <laughs> which is kind of important, especially when you've got an active war going on. So everybody's really nice to them because they hold the key to med packs. We had, we were. We had finished our investigation. We had finished our discussion. We were going to touch, uh, to click on the uh, the guard, the gatekeeper, the uh, warden. That, that's the word I was looking for. The warden to let him know that we were ready for the trial. And then the game crashed. So... I have gone back, redone most of the legwork that went into that. I tried to keep it as close to what I had done the last time as I could. Um, short of having the video up on my second monitor, which Star Wars really doesn't like doing. Otherwise, I would have gone and done the video exactly as I did the last time. <sighs> okay. So, all that said and done, let's load this thing. Loading, loading, loading. All right, we had already talked to Sunri. We were getting ready to click on the Warden. And I don't know if this is one of those things that... Um, the big issue is a video playback. Like, it's got one of those little interstitial videos that, that seems to cause all sorts of problems, especially when you're streaming. Uh, or if... Or if the game just crashed because it crashed. So let's try it like this. And if it crashes again, uh, I'll I'll load it up with uh, I'll load it up with uh, just just the game, the monitor, like I did for a stream. All right. So you are the arbiter, and suddenly I lost some murder case. Then I hope you are as impartial as the office is traditionally supposed to be. Uh, off world is have ten. Oh, hey. Okay, I am playing neutral good, so. <laughs> what is it gonna do for you now? Um. Oh, we do have some questions to ask. Alright, let's ask about the star map. Nope. <laughs> that is quite illogical to think that a being who spends his entire day locked in a room with insane people and murderers would know much about the outside world. That good sir is a fair point. But it gave me the option to ask you, you know, a stranger thing. Alright, uh, have you heard about the young Selkath? Ooh, he has. Very suspicious. But there are no signs of kidnapping. Okay. Interesting. It is likely, though, that it has been perpetrated by outworlders. One such a... Oh, come on, man. We can just crank the tinfoil hat and stuff up to 11. Right. Is there anything else you need? <laughs> why? Why, yes. Um... 
What do you know? Sunry is from the Republic, the Lasso is from the Sith, they kill each other all the time. What more is it? Oh, okay. There. So there, there's that. As of the details, as for the judges, are court to decide. Is there anything else in here? A little hope? No. Alright. Let's begin the trial. Are you certain here? Once the trial is begun, it cannot be stopped. And once judgment is given, the case can never be reopened. Until you re -old, re <laughs> reload the old save and start again, right? <laughs> oh, okay. You must be certain your investigations are complete before you request a trial. If this is the role of the Arbiter. Are you certain you wish to begin the trial now? Actually, I've reconsidered. Are you deaf, flipperhead? Let's get this trial over with. Oh, wow. Okay. And, uh, yes, let's begin the trial. <laughs> Can I wear my, uh, Matlock suit? <laughs> I, I guess Matlock's a little too old school. Alright. <clears throat> Let the record show that the trial of Sunray versus the Crypto City Authority has commenced. Presiding our judges, Shelkar. So, uh, oh, no. oh, no, sorry, wrong fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right, because we're doing the roll call for all the judges. I think he was the one that really didn't like us that much and was going to rule against us no matter what. The trial is to determine the culpability of summary and the death of the Sith Halasa. Representing Sunri in his defense as a member of the Jedi Order. Do you have any opening statements? He's not guilty. <laughs> Force persuade. Ooh. That's tempting, but let's let's try. I will find him innocent. That remains to be seen. Yes, it does. That does remain to be seen. Acting as a prosecutor is an imp impartial observer from the Sith Empire. It is an honor to see justice served. And mm -hmm. I will see Sunri is executed for the crime he has committed. <laughs> scolded us both for being a little overzealous and presumptuous about what we will and won't do. Fair enough. First matter of business is the presentation of a sworn testimony by the proprietor of the hotel where the murder occurred. What is the testimony you wish to give us? That the shot the man I saw leaving, way. Sunri, probably left after I heard the blaster shot. The guilt of the accused is apparent even this early in the trial. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Keep overstepping, Sithy. It's very important evidence. The court will keep this in mind at the top of the list of pertinent facts. Call hmm. forth the witnesses for the crime and take in their testimony. Uh, okay. Yeah, I thought I was going to get a chance to cross-examine him, but apparently that comes a little bit later. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I can go poll the judges each time. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that, though. Alright, the first witness is Firth. You are Firith Me, the well-known Pazad player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable testimony. Hmm. Hmm. Objection or do not undermine the... No, let's go with do not undermine the witness. <laughs> Of course, Your Honor. Feareth me. What did you see the night of the murder? Well, I came out into the hallway after hearing the blaster shot, 
and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. <laughs> A very obvious point, Your Honors. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed Elasa was fired. Defense's turn. Alright. Did you order the code red? No, I don't see that on here, is it? Hmm. Hmm. Uh Did you actually you see mean the murder actually happen? Actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no, but I don't think there could have been anyone else there. <laughs> He saw some circumstantial evidence. Any additional questions? <laughs> Is the metal a, a little I too I think obvious? it may have been. I mean, you'd have to be pretty stupid to leave something that important lying around, wouldn't you? I'm not going to go with could Sunri have harmed her if he was a cripple because he is a decorated war hero and that's probably not going to help the case but let's see if we can bring up the dark Jedi thing yes from what Hello. I could tell How's she carried going? a lightsaber under that cloak of hers welcome Objection. to the trial that doesn't prove she was a Jedi any additional questions? Hmm, I have no additional questions. Oh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2? I thought about doing that one next, but I didn't want to kind of... <laughs> I didn't want to get a... a typecast. I, I've got a couple of different games that lined up that, uh that I'd like to do next and after this and kind of traverse a little bit of different terrain. Alright, very well. Uh, do I want to pull the judges? No, I don't want to pull the judges. Yeah, the original's been a little rough captured for a stream. It has, uh, it's definitely been an adventure. Glupal the Rodian. You were staying in the hotel the night of the murder and saw oh, Sunri leaving Alasa's room, didn't you? Uh, for the most part, I've got it worked out. It really seems to have trouble when it switches to those interstitial videos. Something about that video codec and the game capture uh, just doesn't doesn't play right. If I switch to desktop capture, it works more often than not. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the cinematics are... Yeah, it's something with the cinematic player. Uh, oh, I, I guess it's my turn to question the guy. Um, well, let's stick with the pertinent questions. Did you actually see the murder? <laughs> Oh, questions can I ask? Uh, yeah. All right. Even though I know we're definitely going to get to that, did you plant the metal? Let's go with it's not a little too obvious. <laughs> Why anyone leaves things in someone else's room? Yeah. Okay. I would like to get you to admit in front of the court. I, I, this is where I wish the cinematics would go into the the dramatic. Hollywood-esque. Did you plant the metal? 
Don't do it, Glupor. <laughs> Come on, admit to it. Lies! Slander! I object! Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. Did you order the code red? I have no additional questions. Would I like to poll the judges? No. Right. Now for the wife of the accused. You, Elora, are Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. I guess he would. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. Any questions for the witness? Yeah, a couple. I know I don't want to go with Sunru as a cripple. Could he have killed her? Because that that brings up all sorts of fun questions. Bringing up the war hero stuff is probably not going to help either. Uh, I'm not sure if bringing up the affair will help or not. I'm thinking it would just to give it a plausible not motive. Except it might be a plausible motive. No, i got to save game, so let's try it. Yes. Yes, it was true. He was having an affair with that Sith harlot. It seems painfully obvious that he killed her to keep her quiet about the affair. <laughs> yes, I, I do like the way that the dialogue matters and your reputation matters too. He'd been seeing her for some time, I think. But he said he was going to change. He'd gone there that night to end it. We talked the night before and he'd promised. But now things have become so very complicated. evidence. Just as long as it helps. Any more questions? Uh, not that don't seem like they're going to go down a bad path. So let's go with no additional questions. Yeah, I wouldn't trust EA to do it. Uh, but definitely reboot. And the rumor seems to be going around that there might be a trilogy based in the Knights of the Old Republic series. A uh, movie trilogy. And I... Under normal circumstances, I would be highly ecstatic at I that. wish to call forth Sunray However, himself, Your Honors. Uh, how shall I put this? Are you a war hero, I'm not the biggest Mr. fan Sunray? of Disney's stewardship of the Star the Wars Empire, intellectual property. Correct? Yes, that's right. <laughs> and I don't regret it either. Yeah, the yeah they'd probably bulldoze the storyline and make their own version. Although... Would you say that you dislike um, the Sith? Even... Hate them? Of course it I hate sounds them. like they Trying got the same the guys who did the Game get, of Thrones TV series of to work politics. on the trilogy. Were you in Alassa's room on the night and of the they murder? have a well, good yes, reputation I, I for I had been having an affair with Alassa on my wife, properly yes, handling I realized how wrong I'd been and I was going there to material. end it. I mean, look, look at the way they covered the game, the game of Thrones. They've done other stuff before that, but that's quietly, the most so prominent one. From and and tried right to up flee. until they no, ran out of books I, to I work off of, it, it enough, was Mr. very Sunray. nicely done. Uh, 
So, if it is them, and if they're giving as free a hand as they should be to stick to the original material, it could be good. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is my turn to question them. Um... Let's start with uh, Sith Spy. Of course she was. Why would a yeah. young, beautiful Sith woman get with an old cripple like me? Yeah, or the founding of the Jedi, that would be good. Oh, that didn't sink my case. Anything else I wish to ask the appears? Uh... Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They... They might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution you portray it to be. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I rescued it in the end. Yeah, Sith base. Uh, depends on how they handle the Sith base trilogy. Uh, Because no. at this point it is either going well or it's sunk. So. Prosecution will represent inclusion of so many pertinent facts. I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunri was having an affair with Elasa. He sought to end it, and the simplest, quickest method, giving his hatred of the Sith, was to simply kill her. Witnesses mm -hmm. saw Sunri fleeing the scene, and material evidence places him there at the time of the murder as well. I am confident that any informed observation of the facts will lead the judges, your honors, to this very conclusion. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I never did. I never did get into the books as much as I I probably should have. I might have to check out the Darth Bane series. Although, if we're gonna go into a series of books, then I would definitely say go go TV show to really explore it properly. Uh, let's start with no one actually witnessed the murder. Oh, that doesn't mean a thing. He was there, running from the room. <laughs> yeah, I'm cautiously optimistic for the Mandalorian and the Kenobi series that they're supposed to be doing as well. Alright, I'm not going to do the cripple. I'm not going to do the obvious evil. Um, hmm. Ending the affair. Or spy on the south of framing sunry. Let's do the that. Sith would not leave the medal of her killer clutched in her hand. I just kick him out of the courtroom already. I mean, if he's like, I can kick him out of the courtroom for you. Um, hmm. Alright, 
let's go, let's go rest there. Made a couple of good points and I don't want to mess it up. Sweet. Score one victory for the impromptu. Your honors, no! Dude, if you want them silenced, I, I can totally make that happen. Oh, Sunry, I'm so glad. Elora, we have done all we could for you, old friend. Thank you for saving me. I don't know how I can repay you. Elora and I are going to leave here and get as far away from all this as soon as we can. I and the Republic will not forget what you've done for us. Thank you. Well, already then. XP is always nice. Mission accomplished indeed. Alright, now... I need to get to... the east. I'm trying to run my way around this place. Oh, this way. I've got to go find the Sith Embassy. Icorn, the holding cell. As to the city's central... Nope, that's the mercenary enclave. That is not what I need. I've already picked up all the quests that are on offer from there. Let's try to find our way over to the Sith base because... I kind of figured the court scene would go pretty quick and I want to hit the main Sith base infiltration story bit. I said that we're all the way down the other end of, the, of everything. Um, yeah, because that's going to be to the port office. Alright. Oh, actually, you know what? Since I did manage to get him off, go ahead and save that, <laughs> save that little bit of progress. Okay, and... Oh, and while I'm at it, let me go back to my party selection. And since I'm going to go invade a Sith base, uh, as, much I, as much as I really want to work with him, I'm going to go ahead and take her. Because when you're going to invade the Sith, having a couple extra Jedi at your back is usually worthwhile. Why don't I have the strength gauntlets on her? Uh, oh, because her strength is only 14, and that would only bump it up to, what, 15? Yeah, and that's not enough of a difference to make a difference. Okay. All right. Sure. Onward and forward. I'm tempted to change out the old man for Bastila, too. Although, I don't think Bastila has... Republic Enclave... Alright, so I know it's not the Republic... Okay, yeah, let me just keep it this way. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some droids in there, and I don't think Bastila has the stun droid feet, or the stun droid power, so, uh, and I know that Jolie does. I think I'll go ahead and leave him up for now. Oh! <laughs> you know what I forgot to do? Do one of the things that's going to get me entrance into the Sith base in the first place. Um... 
Do a thing with Republic Base it isn't that far away. I need to go work on cracking one of the cards or interrogating the prisoner. I seriously forget where I just came from. I seriously forget where I just came from. No, oh, that's the swoop track registration. No, no, no. Look to memory something or other. Nothing a cup of coffee can't fix. Definitely a cup of coffee. Yeah, I need to come up to the Republic Enclave and go see a man about hacking a card. I think that's going to be the easiest way. I mean, I can always just go go into the uh, into the bay and start hacking it out ahead of time, but. Uh, Seems like it might be a little bit easier. Alright, uh, let's try the computer. Lice Republic system? Hmm. As tempting as it is, let me go and decrypt the path. <laughs> okay. One, two, four. Okay. Double, double. Okay. No, no. I, I remember. I remember this one. Okay. is uh, misleading. Okay. Hey, every computer programmer should be able to figure this one out. <laughs> oh, that's just in reverse. There, there's the 32. Five. I hate math. This is why I program computers. Oh, good. I was worried about a couple of those. Of course, the camera's probably not going to pick up that massive mosquito that was uh, my way. By the by, dry erase notebooks. Absolutely wonderful. Especially if you're trying to figure out stuff like that. Alright. Log off. I'm not going to waste a computer spike trying to hack in. 
much as I want to, I get a funny feeling that we're going to need a few more of those for the uh, Sith base. Okay, items received. Ooh, that does bring up a point. You know what? Let me go back to the party selection. Alright, let me, uh... Let me check real quick. Does she have... She's, does she have the stun droid? Stun and stasis. Affect mine. No, she doesn't. Uh, let me go back to... Party selection. Let me see if Bastila's got the stun droid. I can't remember if I gave it to her or not. I really do need to write this stuff down. I guess while I got her out, let me level her up. That'll answer the question and take care of something. Um, no, let's max that out and bump that up. Go to powers. Okay, so she does have the disabled droid. Okay. Oh, I gotta add power. And we can do that. So you know what? I know Bastila is tougher than Jolie. So let me get rid of Jolie and let me add this guy. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be... I know there's some droids to take care of, so I'm going to want somebody with the disabled droid power. And if this is the way the other base infiltration type missions go, there's going to be some computers to hack. And his... <laughs> that little guy's... Uh, where's his skills? Skills, yeah. Look at that computer use. <laughs> He should be able to hack into almost anything for a single spike and pass most of those computer use checks and uh, the security checks. A lot better than I'm going to do it. Alright, so now that I got the party I want and the card I need, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and break in. Let's do this. Let me dish out. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Alright, onward and forward. I've got this mosquito flying around. I swear it's going to irritate the snot out of me. What do I have this guy equipped with, too? Um, no, I got the... It's the Mandalorian pistol. Oh, yeah. Alright. We got stun ray and shield disruptor. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, let's check. You know, that seems like the sort of thing you should double check before you walk into battle. <laughs> um, hmm. What plating did he have? He had a defense bonus of four. Because this was the guy. <laughs> the used good store. I don't mind the scratching dead so long as the prices are commiserate. Alright, so he's got the droid plating with a defense of four. He's already got the shield disruptors and stun rays and ooh, what's the gravity generator do? Ah, slows them. Okay. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Really not too worried about the shields. Security. Targeting computer. <laughs> Demolitions probe. No.
Oh, okay. So... I can get him some light plating type 3. Pretty cheap, which bump his defense bonus up one more. Medium, still fairly cheap, which will bump it up one more. Get him heavy, kind of expensive. But it's going to bump his defense bonus up by 5. A funny feeling. I'm going to want him as uh, kitted out as I can. Ooh, 2k to go to 11. I'm not even sure he can take the class 3 upgrades yet. Uh... Alright. Um... I mean, I'm okay on money for the moment. Let me... And he's only got one of each. So I'm pretty sure HK is going to want one of these as well. But you know what? Let's go ahead and buy the two heavy plating. Okay. I can put either one on him, which is good. I think what I'll do is I'll put the Type 3 on him for this mission, and then when this mission is over, I'll put the Type 1 on him. Sure. All right. Wait. I've double checked everybody else, and yeah, Bastel has got everything she needs there. She's got some shields. She doesn't take implants yet. Uh, he's already using a strength amplifier of plus two. Okay. Sure. Everybody's as kitted out as they can be. <laughs> Mahalo. Hello, hello. Welcome. All right, before we start a ruckus, let's go ahead and save the game. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I Hello. can't believe you let that murderous sunry go free. <laughs> if the Selkath are so neutral and unbiased, why can't the Sith find any justice on this planet? But Ooh, we Sith nice. have long memories. Soon there will be a day That's of right, you were doing the uh, speed run. Soon. So, what are you doing here? All right. Why I if have you this have a totally pass, legit why are you pass card. bothering me with it? Just go in. Oh, okay. I thought I had to talk to you. <laughs> that works. That that was actually easier than I expected. You there? I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? Oh. Okay. As much as I'd like to just force persuade this away, I don't think Bastila would like that. So let's try the pass card. card. Is out of date, and I don't recognize you at all. We'll get oh. to the bottom of this soon enough. I Commander it was Grand, an code, report and to the security desk out. immediately. Oh, fine. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them, and their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! <sighs> okay. Come on, let me hit the... There we go. Let's get you to try to stun him. Boop. 
Alright. Go all out on the attack, right? Oh, she didn't just destroy the one of them. She got them all. Alright. Let's do that. Go all in on the attack. Nope. There we go. Well, that was quick. <laughs> oh, really? It could have been. Hmm, nerve enhancement package. Yes, please. You good, sir. Okay. Better than anything I got going right now. 5 to 15, 6 to 25. Oh, no. Okay. Ooh, nice crit threat, though. Uh, I was thinking that'd be something that I could give uh, somebody in their offhand, but I don't see where that's marked as balanced, so... Uh, all right, good to know though. Oh, Dex plus one. Oh, immune to all mind affecting. That is nice. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, she can't use that. All right. What? None of the droids have anything in their pockets. In their pockets. Alright. Your computer. Can I access the computer over here? Hello? No. No hacking? No hacking yet. Okay. Alright. Uh, Alright. Let's try to clear off this side room real quick. Okay. Maybe it's not a real quick. Assembly room. Alright. Faulty wardrobe, you say? I bet I know somebody who can make him not faulty. Reactivate. Yes, please. Um, how many spikes do I have? I have 11. All right, let's pimp them out. Shields, targeting, weaponry. Uh, sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Maybe, if I'm lucky. I could only be so lucky. You know what, let's just double down on this guy right here in front of me. And let's see if I can get her. Can she target the other guy? Good. No? Let's go ahead and hit that heal. Let's go ahead and get him to do a repair kit real quick. Doesn't okay, that droid doesn't appear to be anything I need to deal with. Go back after him. Let's get her to look to. No, that's the faulty wardrobe. I don't want to destroy him. 
him I want to destroy. Matter of fact, let's get everything else off the queue. Get that. Alright, you just keep being you. <laughs> And not for the first time, wish that you could benefit from healing. There we go. What? Alright, uh, first things first. What you got on you, buddy? Battle stems. Okay. And Broken Droid, you have a data module. Uh, okay. This must be something. A stun ray. That's everybody. Nobody else has anything to uh, donate to the cause. Oh, that looks like a footlocker back there. What else we get? Security, decryption interface, and universal computer interface. I bet. Seriously, those are not new at this point. Alright, data module. This is an encrypted data module retrieved from the remains. Okay, so this is the droid stuff we were sent here for. Oh, I still got four of those guys, too. And, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, the hangar key, if I wanted to try that. Droid upgrade. Computer use plus six. Ah, okay. Computer use plus two. Computer use plus six. Plus two, plus six. Plus six, please. Plus four. Ooh, do I want to up his security instead or no? Nah, let's double down on the computer use. All right. Sweet. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and do a quick save. So far, so good. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Patrol. You gonna head someplace useful, or are you just gonna... Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're just gonna walk back and forth there. That door goes nowhere. Oh! <laughs> okay. Try the force wave. And let's try the stun. Let's get you... Can you target any of them? Yes. Rejoid. Yes! Right. I was going to put this one in Wisdom. 
So I could increase my will save and my force points in any powers that use that, that ability. It's after this because they it's after this that I gotta worry about where I'm gonna put it because I, I want to make sure to go somewhere that's actually gonna have a positive benefit and with all these being nice round numbers the next one's not gonna give me that big a benefit in any place there. skills let's go with our treat injury repair and computer use because we haven't really been using the demolitions. It's been enough to... Uh, that 13 points we accumulated with our, uh, our earlier class have done us well enough so far. Okay. What powers? Alright, I'm not going to bother with the shield because I've got two Jedi that are going down those paths. Uh, I've done the force throw. That is okay. Force suppression is a universal, but it is restricted by armor, which I've been trying to stay away from. That's a dark side power, so we're not going to. Uh, that's a dark side power. That's a dark side power. That's a dark side power. Oh, same with that. All right, so stun droid is something we can work on, and having an extra an extra droid stun could be very useful uh, although I could do the capstone on the stun which is restricted by armor huh. all right so stun droid is an option Energy resistance is still an option. Force resistance is restricted by armor, restricted by armor, restricted by armor, restricted by armor. Let's go with the stun droid. Start working on that one. Alright. Sure. No? Nobody else is gonna level up? Everybody's good? Don't want a repeat of two weeks ago, so we'll go ahead and save. Right. What else we got down this way? Oh, hello. Of you. Nothing on the bodies, and that's not really a door. Okay. Solo. 
to there. Let's go ahead and save the game, because I have a funny feeling this might go badly. Alright, and... Oh. Yeah, screw it. Good thing I didn't try to take them with me. <laughs> oh, I should have sent the droid through. Although he doesn't have a eel. Alright, so we got a computer panel. We got computer panels. Let's. Oh, steam control. Steam vents have been deactivated. Yes, I would like these fools to end up over here. Hey, buddy. Glorious. And yeah, what's in this computer? Alright, let me log out and get my computer expert on here. Hey, Mr. Computer Expert, this looks like your job. How's <laughs> your. <laughs> I hadn't seen that. I guess if your skill is high enough, you don't even need to bother with the, the spikes. Hot diggity. Download area schematics. Zero spikes. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's start at the top. What's at the East Barracks? Okay. Overload the power count. Zero spikes? Yes, please. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Alright, so that was the East Barracks. The security room. Okay. Uh, disable force field. Sure. Destroyed targeting program or disable the sentry door. Well, that's only one <laughs> one spike versus two. Bam. Alright. That's the security room. This is the security computer room. Oh, look at that. Yeah, let's do that. That's uh, the security, security reception. <laughs> I think I've already been there, but yeah. You know what, let's go ahead and blow that up before I accidentally, uh... Wait, what? Okay. What's in the training room? <laughs> okay. Oh. There's nothing I can do with the training room. Alright. At least I know I got a dark Jedi to go against. Low control. Let's, yeah, let's do, go ahead and do that. Alright, and oh, flow control is done. Deem control room is where we're standing. It's in the disassembly room. Or did I already clear that? Yeah, I already cleared that. No, I'm just gonna... No, I'm not gonna do that to the sentry droid. I just got him working. Alright. Well, alright then. That's awesome. And the whole thing only cost me one spike. And... <laughs> oh, yes! Because we did all that. That is 1280 XP. Yes. Yes, please. All right. Although I wonder, I wonder how much of that actually went to my main character versus the uh, minion there, since technically he did all the hard work. 
speaking of all that hard work, let's go ahead and save that game one more time. I mean, I've had it crash in the middle of a stream enough times that I really should be a little more paranoid than I've been. That is a dud door. Of course, because i got the schematics now. Alright, um... So I can go this way, or this way. They're going to bring me to the same place, although if I go... Yeah, let me loop around south here. Keep forgetting the mouse doesn't show up on the on the stream. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the security checkpoint, go through the secondary entrance and up into the flow control. And then, uh, then make my way from there. Uh, let's I'm tempted to try to recover the mine but uh <laughs> my uh, my rolls have not been all that good and I don't really use the mines anyway so let's go ahead and disable all right any any lootables no lootables all right what what do we have through this door? Field door. This door has been permanently sealed. Well, okay then. And that should bring us into the flow control room. Uh... Okay. Randomly standing there, Druid. Let's make this happen. Yes. I thought we'd take care of all those guys. Apparently not. Alright, what we got in the notes here? Water pump analysis. Oh, it's gonna be this weird thing, isn't it? Anything in these rooms? No? No. Okay. Before we mess with that, let's go back at the soy. Oh! That's right, these guys. Um, Dark Jedi. Alright, let's do the force wave to open up. Let's try to. Stasis you? Yeah, let's try to stasis you. And then let's double down on Mr. in the lead here. Let's try and draw a stun ray and attack. And let me get you to try to more wind. That way you get out of the way. Please tell me you're going to try to stun this. Oh, never mind. You almost got him. Oh, that was a little tougher than the other one. Oh, I 
again. Yeah, let's get you to hit yourself up. Oh, I didn't want to burn the advance kit though. Shoot. Yes? Oh well. Nothing to do for it. Because we can only loot the remains from the left. Alright, so we got a short saver. <laughs> I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. And, ooh, some saber crystals, a Sith energy shield, an advanced oil amplifier. Awareness plus four. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Everything's good here. We're all good. Everything's fine. Alright, that's where I came from. That should go back to... Yeah, that's the hallway back to the beginning. Let's see what's through this door. This should be the big bad security droids that got knocked out. Yeah. Advanced gravity generator. Oh yeah, that's the one that causes a uh, slow. I thought about buying, but it wasn't worth the money. Well, yeah, so he's got two of them. All right. Um. Do I want to mess with the flow room, or do I want to go ahead and just take the shortcut that is clearly right there? I almost want to mess with the flow room, just because I, I suspect there's some XP out of the puzzle. Usually there's XP out of the puzzles, and I will take every bit of XP that I can get. Alright, short lightsaber. 2 to 12, 90 to 20, can be used offhand. Um... Yeah, I'm going to have to see if I can get Bastila better off with two weapons or let her keep using the uh, two-headed two saber there. That is going to do something. Yeah, I've already got one of those. Always nice. In regards to the system, in place to cycle water from the ocean to the thermal heaters. What were you thinking? What made you put that airlock mechanism only on the other path to the north side of the base? Now everyone has to know how to cycle the water out of one room and into the adjoining one for each of the three rooms in sequence. <laughs> only in a game would you get something this amazingly ridiculous. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Okay. You know what? That is more complicated a game than I want to get into. Yep. Nope. I'll just take the shortcut offered over here. Thank you very much. Oh. Hello. Uh, yeah, let's go get whatever we would have gotten on the other side of that anyway. You are not even in range of anything, are you? No, not even by clever angling can we get you into things. So. Yes. Oh, is he out of stuns? Might be out of stuns. I'll have to look into that. In the meantime... 
change. I would have expected at least some pocket change. Alright, uh... Oh, yeah. Okay, so he's got 9 out of 10 on the shield disruptor. His stun ray is out. And, oh, look at that! We picked up an extra one. Huh. Okay, that works. It's a fake door. I, I got the schematic right there in my top corner. Why am I... Oh yeah. Another cup of coffee. Matter of fact, if you'd like to send a cup of coffee my way, live.anonjunior.com <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Some credits. Is it? I can feel it. What was that? Oh, did I miss one of those grenade things? I, I bet my awareness wasn't high enough and I walked into a stupid mine. Okay. Oh, that's the desk that blows up. And those are the pressure doors with all the weird stuff. Going this way. Oh! Well, hello. We got another Dark Jedi, Dark Jedi, and Dark Jedi. Okay. Let's go Force Wave. And flurry the snot out of you. Although I am stunned, so maybe not. Let's try to hit you with a stun, and you with a stun. And double down on the attack with you. No target around the corner. Right. Stun him again. use one of our big kits. I know we don't have that many, but uh I keep forgetting about that energy shield too. Although this seems close enough that I'm not sure I want to worry about that. Seriously lady. Yes. I should be able to get the gun, right? Yep. Do you want her to live <laughs> the next little bit? 
Short lightsaber. Always nice. And I very clearly missed a mine. No problem. Maybe I do need Didn't to pop work. some more points into awareness. Triggers. Sure. Plus one, strength plus two, strength plus one. Uh, does she already have? Okay, so she's already got that. So here's the question. That's going to bump my dex up plus one or my strength up plus two. My dex. That's a plus three to reflex. Ooh, and poison immunity. That could always be nice, too. Alright, so my dex is an 18 with the plus one. Ooh, hey, thank you for that. I appreciate the follow. Sorry, a little bit of delay on my monitor to let me know what the, uh, what the bell is for. I'm going to have to get some different sounds for different things. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I can swap out the gloves, which is going to bring my dexterity down to 17, which means that's going to be a plus three to hit instead of plus four. But it's going to bring the damage up from plus one to plus two. So I might not hit as much, but I'll hit harder when I do. Given that I'm having a hard enough time to hit since I'm doubling down on the flurry with some of these guys, I think I'll leave that as is. I probably got some other people who could definitely use the uh, strength boost. Did I reboot your body? No, I didn't. Yes, please. Since you clearly have no use for that, I shall uh, relieve you of such things. I'll help you unburden your body. All right. And that was everything there. Nice. You know what? Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and save the game. Just because that last one was a little tougher than I was expecting. And uh, since that's not the end of it, <laughs> I'd just as soon not go through all that again. Alright, that room is the dud. This room is the East Barracks, which... Alright, so there are some remains, but I do have that one mine, so let's go ahead and take care of the one I see. Means I'm probably going to run into one that I don't see. Although, who sets up a mine in the barracks? Like, that's... That, seem, that just seems like it's asking for trouble. Ooh. 125 credits? Yes, please. Thank you. I mean, clearly the, the owner no longer needs them, right? It'd be a shame for them to sit there and not get put to use. Alright, 
probably going to have to sell off a bunch of those grenades. I, I tend not to use too much variety in my grenades. I mean, it's nice to have them, but I, I don't use that many. Alright. Uh, hey. I really wasn't planning on attacking you, but I, it doesn't look like I have much of a choice. Oh, that's right. It wasn't stasis that I wanted. It was force wave. Then stasis. Then we'll lay in with the flurries. Let's just go ahead and get you in on the attack. And he's probably going to be stunned anyway. Try to double in with the flurries and try a different approach on this guy. <laughs> The force fights with me. Okay. Uh, hmm. All right, nothing on the body. I think I know where the missing youth went to, though. That was one of the side quests we picked up in the canteen. Ooh, 150 credits. Yeah, that could come in handy. I think I know where the missing youth went. <laughs> that was one of the side quests that we were supposed to be working on. Alright, uh, let's do this methodically. Let's come this way. Let me move over a little bit so that way if they start something, my party is at least in front of the door and able to do something. Uh oh. Heather Maddox about it. Shots of the Sith. The Sith what? Hmm. This tortured Selka. Okay. So tell him that they were tortured. Barricade, med pack. Alright. Is that everything in here? That is everything in here. Alright. Then we come this way. Come on, since I'm supposed to tell somebody something, I'm pretty sure the dormitory is where I need to be next. Alright. Intruders! Should we sound the alarm? No. Okay. Hmm. Can't always be running to the master for help. Can, can, can we talk about this? Perhaps this is the type of Sith that prepared for us. Our masters and apprentices are around. Uh, up the time. Just here to kill anybody in my way. Uh, let's start with I'm looking for the young soul gap. Your father would get suspicious. Well, you know, people go missing. <laughs> Blinded by his own fortunes, huh? Is that they're teaching us? Yeah. Good, I knew the Sith would win. The Sith are evil, what they told you is a lie. If you ally with the Sith, then you'll suffer their fate. Death. Tempting as that is, because that would make this uh, go a lot quicker. Let's go with... What they told you is a lie. Lies. <laughs> propaganda. <laughs> the Sith are victims of lies and half truths. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. The Sith have promised to withdraw from an eye, huh? The Sith are long on promise. Alright, it's definitely not going to be good. I knew the Sith would win. 
I, I, I don't know why they give you that option. Actually, I think I know why they give you that option, but no, I'm not doing that. I'm pretty sure if you ally with the Sith, then you'll suffer their fate is a key for shut up and get to the fighting. No, not what I want to do. So it's... If the Republic is defeated, the Sith will enslave your planet, or the Sith just want to corrupt you. Let's try that route. Yeah, the Sith will treat us nothing but respect and honor. Huh? Your buddy over in the next room over would uh, beg to differ. Well, he would beg to differ if he was, if he was alive. We speak as if we were prisoners here, but we can leave whenever we wish. <laughs> Our friend Galus chose to leave and he was returned safely. Yes, certainly you must have heard of the destruction mm -hmm. of Taras. It's your honorable friends that committed that atrocity. <laughs> Terrace is nothing but a republic lie. Uh, <laughs> okay. You want some proof? Do you want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. No, wait, no, that was the court scene from earlier. Alright. Uh, the Sith are evil. Here. Let's just do it. I found a young Selkath dying from torture. He gave me this. Then from Gales. Oh, seriously, dude? Fine. Use the force then. Look into your heart and you will realize what is truth and what is lies. There we go. Somebody with a better persuade. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Go report it to the authorities, please. Let them know. Although I get a funny feeling with all the dead bodies following behind me. I'm gonna also speak to the authorities by the time this is done. You know. Given time, the Sith would have turned you fully to the dark side, and you would have betrayed your world gladly. <laughs> There we go. Light side points gained. Nice. It'll offset those dark side points I got earlier. In the court case. You're all banned. Okay. That'll at least be worth some credits. And... Is that all we got here? That's all we got here. Alright. So far, so good training room. And if I remember correctly, the training room was one of the places where we saw a bunch of Sith. So let's go ahead and let's save the game. Save? Yes. Actually, well, let me, uh... No. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping to let me bring in a bruiser for this last part, but I'm not leaving and coming back. So, I got it saved. And away we go. And, oh! Surprise round! <laughs> Practice droid. Uh, let's force wave, which should knock over everybody. And then stasis you. And try to flurry the snot out of you. Let's get you on. Um, Let's get you a pure attack, and let's start with the disabled droids. Oh. <laughs> okay, that worked out well. Oh, 
Sure. Oh. Well. That was quick. And the drawers got anything useful? No. Okay. Alright, you guys somewhere you can actually do something useful? Good. How did you get in here? Wait. I recognize you. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward mm -hmm. to whoever destroys you. As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall remove this thorn from Malak's side once and for all. That's what people have said. Horse wave. Basis. And let's get the flurry on. Let's get you to stun. And stun. Attack. And let's get you to go ahead and hit him with a whirlwind. Hit him with a whirlwind. And then... Doubled? No. Let's get the master out of the way. Crystals, a retinal combat implant, a devilated saber, and Jedi Master Rooms. Okay. Alright, and some more Dark Jedi Rooms, a dueling shield, always nice. Okay. And what else we got? We've got an advanced med pack. we have behind door oh. a box just a box just a box okay a mine and a box oh I, I'm definitely gonna have to pump some points into awareness that's uh hmm it's not that's not working out so well ooh a data pad alright so we got the double bladed saber I don't think that's got any upgrades, so it's probably not better than what she's already got. So we got some more upgrade crystals. Definitely going to have to spend some time with that before we get too far into the next bit. Poison grenades, some cryoband grenades, dark Jedi knight robes that give you a defense bonus of plus two. Defense bonus of three. Yeah, I th as much as I really want to... Um, Switch from armor to the robes. My armor gives me a plus seven. Plus five on the dex bonus. And since my... Yeah. That's just... That's not cutting it. Okay. the That's an awareness. That's a will. Dueling shield. Another energy shield. That is immune to critical hits and awareness plus one. Ooh. That might be a nice one. I could I could clearly use the bonus to awareness. Uh, and immunity to critical hits is always nice. I'm just not sure it's more nice than what I got. But I'll get back to that. In a, what, what do I got? Dexterity plus one. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's why that dex plus one works, because that means... Okay, so my dex is actually a 16, and I've got two things giving it a plus one. Okay. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go back to the inventory, because I wanted med back, med back. I kind of wish it wouldn't pop those back on the new items, because, I mean, it's not new. You've seen these before. And small token of personal nature. Okay. And the data pad. These appear to be the personal notes of the Dark Jedi Master in charge of the Sith base on Manan. It seems that the Sith have been trying to turn impressionable young Selkath over to the dark side. After reading the lengthy progress reports on this topic, it seems that the final plan was to use these young Selkath to overthrow the current government and install a puppet government that the Sith would dominate. Dun dun dun. Okay. <laughs> All right. And I do believe that, it, you know what? Just in case something weird pops out or something crashes, let's go ahead and hit a save game right there. Because I do believe that is all the damage we can do here, right? Yeah, we've explored the whole thing. No, we didn't do this last little hallway here. I don't think there was anybody down it, but just the same. Let's go ahead and run through that, clear it out. So I'm going to head down, go through the shortcut, hang a right into there, and then down there. Okay. <sighs> Okay, Force, navigate to. <laughs> Oops. How about if I actually find the door, huh? Okay, good. Keep it up so far. Always on. Probably really should do the do these things, but uh, no. That, that's just more work than I'm willing to do. Oh, how did they come through here? Okay, good. That means that we can go out, and I suspect somebody's going to say something about the considerable ruckus that we've created. Yep, there they are. Hello. <laughs> you there, human. You are placed under the arrest of the Otto City Civil Authority. That's a little bit of a tongue twister. No, it's not like you got a convenient shield acronym <laughs> you'll never take me alive you'll never take me alive kappa no 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 what why uh i have done everything wrong <laughs> so the sith embassy here is considered sovereign territory of the sith empire we have been monitoring an alarming number of weapon discharges and detonations from within the base look if this is about the noise i promise i'll keep it down next time Inquiries to the staff of the embassy held in response to seeing that contact had been cut. That's a long way to phrase it from a certain point of view. <laughs> okay, our cameras recorded you entering the base shortly before contact was lost and fighting apparently began. Circumstantial. Circumstantial. It is the conclusion of the Atu City Civil Authority that you are responsible for disturbance here. You are hereby placed under arrest. You will come with us to await your trial. As material witnesses, the individuals who accompany you will be detained at your vessel, and the vessel itself prohibited from leaving. Yeah, I kind of forget that. Big stretch. We will leave now. 
Do not attempt to resist or we shall resort to overwhelming force. Well, I mean, I can do overwhelming force if that's what you really want to do. No, that's not even an option. Okay. <laughs> Greetings, human. You have been selected as your arbiter for the duration of your trial. Enjoy. Can, can, can I be my own arbiter? What have I been charged with? Initiating violence within the Sith Embassy, murdering members of the Ambassadorial Commission of the Sith Empire, and disregarding her own laws regarding violence in the city. Well, technically, I was defending myself. Alright, um... <laughs> it was the Sith's fault. <laughs> I doubt the judge is sure you you. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna be all off-worldly, biased, and yada yada. You know, no, I'll represent myself. <laughs> well, it is true that you do have that right, I would recommend against it. Did you can find that you have not had much of a chance to build up evidence? Oh no, I've got evidence. Also, I do not believe you offer to truly understand the minds. Yeah. Hey, I've already gone one for one on court cases here, so, uh... Alright, fine. <laughs> I'd first like to ask you a few questions. Just the facts? Are you gonna do your Columbo thing? You gotta do that funny look that he did, where he kinda looked out of the side so you couldn't tell that he had a glass eye. I've never even given a well on the data on you and your companions, so that can be disregarded. <laughs> I... <laughs> I had authorization to enter. You may find that unlikely, but I had a card. I had a card that authorized my access. No prior association is definitely a lie. I kill them wherever I can find them. All technically true is not going to help me. So let's go with I'm on a mission to stop them from taking over the galaxy. Come on, man. I like pinky in the brain. What do you want to do tonight? Same thing with the other guy. Try to take over the universe. I think you'll leave me more. Yeah. Can, can, can we get to the part where I got a data pad showing that they were going to try to set up a puppet government? Where's the option for self -er Uh, I think I'd rather represent myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't recommend it, but you're not exactly inspiring confidence, dude. Mm, blah, blah. Look, I'm already one for one on court cases. No, I'll represent myself. <laughs> ah, okay, here we go. You're out of order. No, you're out of order. Okay. So you like that I'm already one for one. You stand accused of a grievous murder of many so and extensive property damage to their embassy here. Hey, hey, hey. Those mines, they place. Not me. How do you plead? No, no hair gel. Alright, I... I don't bleed. I tell? Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Bad answer. Bad answer. Yikes. That's the kind of thing that makes it roll back to a previous save. Not guilty. Oh, 
call on the court. Our panel of judges. Oh, feel like I voted off the uh, planet? Assault on the Sith Embassy. Hey, hey, hey. I went there with a valid card and I was the one assaulted. <laughs> Given the severity, we can dispense with the normal formalities. That, that, that's that's kind of. Yes. <laughs> you know, pleaded not guilty, yet there was weapons fire and detonations from within the Embassy. Yeah, I tried to keep the noise down. I may not have been the source of the disturbance, but I put an end to the disturbance. How about that? Is that an option? Try jumping straight to the uh, <laughs> the Sith. <laughs> I have recorded proof that the Sith are trying to take over your government. Let it be noted that the court has taken in this new evidence. <laughs> uh, look, look could, could you just give me a thank you very much? Sorry for the trouble, and uh, and we move about our way. Because it seems like. Yeah, therefore, this is indeed a Sith data pad indicating their complicity in a plot to overthrow the lawful government of Manon. You think? If only somebody had warned you about that earlier. In gratitude for having discovered this heinous events, all charges against you regarding this incident will be dropped. That works. <laughs> having a suitable penalty against the Sith, their embassy is considered off limits to all. Security. Wait, what? Uh, okay, no calls or incidents from the base will be attended to until those matters are dealt with, as they are no longer subject to the protections of Soul Cath Lawson. So does this mean I can kill him in the streets? I mean, you know, asking for a friend. <laughs> Did I found innocent? Uh oh. But you're not sure what you did. And that's not usually a good sign. Uh, and somewhere over here was the guy who asked us to go. Was it you? I think it was you. Ah, no. Not the Republic mercenaries. Um, rather than get into the particulars, I would turn you to some material by Mark Gunner. G U N G O R. Definitely check out some of his videos, particularly the ones from Laugh Your Way. Those guys were there the last time I was in here or not, but that's not why I'm here anyway. I need to find the guy who was asking me about the kids. Have you any information for me? Yes, I do. I have news of your daughter and their friends. I have information for you. <laughs> What have you learned? Something is rotten in Denmark. <laughs> Maybe a few credits could refresh my memory. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, I, I would definitely... Definitely uh, look into some of the Mark Unger stuff. Relationships are a little outside of my purview. And the Sith are training the Sith. Okay. Yeah. 
Definitely, definitely looking at the mark on this stuff. And maybe some of the Dr. Henry in the cloud? I think it was. Alright, I've convinced your daughter to turn back. Sorry, no magic eight ball to ask. Hopefully the testimony will be enough proof of their actions. Yeah. I hope so. Dr. Henry Cloud, I think it is, or Henry Cloud. I cannot remember. He also does a lot of books on uh, boundaries and that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, part of me wants to take the money, but uh, no. I haven't been taking the money from anybody else, and so I won't hear either. That was a truly noble act. The Jedi Council would be pleased. Yeah, it's either Clout or Cloud. I cannot remember. Uh, him and Mark Dungo. Now, it, it would be C L O U T or C L O U D. Uh, but definitely him and Mark Gunger. G U N G O R. Ooh, XP, light side points. There we go. Alright, um. I'm gonna go turn in the Republic part and then. Probably call it a night a little bit earlier than normal. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, maybe not. I'm going to hand you off to the professionals. That's not the way I need to go. <laughs> not yet. G give me a little bit of time to work on the channel a little bit more. <laughs> start a fight, but I'm pretty sure I don't really want to do that here. Let me go find the, uh, the guy I need to turn this uh, droid part back into. The hell is this guy? Yeah. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? <laughs> Excellent. After fashion. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kolto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. Yeah, everybody's been, uh... Everybody's been trying to get as much as they can get. Why do I get the feeling that, uh... I'm gonna ask, what has the Republic done? And I'm not gonna like the answer. The Selkath Conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Kolto exports. But a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. 
Uh, what sort of We deal? recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Colto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before um, it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some wise. sort of obstruction. Um, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. Uh, so what happened down there? We don't know. We just don't know. As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith, but they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Rackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly, was to find out what happened yeah, to the Rackard Rift Yeah, it's definitely been a fun game. Now that we have the data I actually back, never played it uh, uh, when it first came out. To the Sith. So now this, this is actually my, my first run through the game when I was tossing the idea around with Arcadius, uh, one of the guys on the Coffee Craft server. He recommended this. Of course, he's been recommending it for a while. And when it came up on one of the Steam seasonal sales for like five bucks, I was like, okay, <laughs> yes, please. And uh, yeah, it has definitely been a fun game. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. Uh, okay. Uh, So I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. <laughs> Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. Good luck. Alright, so we got some XP, some items received and lost. Alright. Uh, before I head down there, let me go back to the Ebon Hawk. I want to take a look through some of the... Uh, fun toys that we picked up. We, I know we picked up some lightsaber crystals and a few other things. I'm probably going to want to run around talking to the crew now that we've got XP and stuff, but uh, let's start with the lightsabers. Let's start with my lightsaber, because of course it's the most important. <laughs> okay, maybe not. All right. So right now, I've got this pillow crystal. Oop. That does an extra three energy damage. And on crits does an extra 2d6. That increases blaster bolt deflection by five. Does an extra two damage. Okay, so this would be an upgrade of the Opilla. Um... So I don't get as much of a damage bonus, but my blaster bolt deflection goes up by five. Hmm, attack bonus by two. Extra damage versus droids. That's nice, but uh, that. My stream times are Tuesdays and Thursdays, starting at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Um, I usually go for two hours on Tuesday and three on Thursday. But the the way my work schedule's been, uh, <laughs> I, I might start trimming Thursday back just a little bit to uh, two, two and a half I'm not sure that I follow that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I am definitely tempted to do that because uh, I do like the blaster bolt deflection. And the sigil, that does an extra attack bonus and energy damage. That ups the attack bonus, which would be worth it by itself. I could put the opilla crystal in there too. Um, but that gives me an extra 1d6 energy damage all the time. That gives me an extra 1d6 against droids, but the extra attack bonus would be nice. Because extra damage doesn't do you much good if you're not hitting. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave that as it is. And assemble this. Now let's go to Bastila's double bladed. Alright, she's already she's got a Rubat, which is plus one attack, plus one damage, so just about anything's gonna be good for her. Uh let's go ahead and get her the extra blaster bolt deflection and that's an attack bonus of three. Hmm. Might give her the that cuts her attack bonus, but it gives her a bump against droids. That'll bump up her damage, but again, it's another one of those things where I really don't want to drop the attack bonuses too much, because uh, extra damage doesn't do you any good if you can't connect it. <laughs> Although, since we already bumped up the attack bonus with the other crystal, maybe, uh, maybe it is time to ramp up the damage. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and leave that one in there. Alright, Jolie's lightsaber. <laughs> is our missing a crystal, so just about anything's gonna be an upgrade. Alright, so he's got a Bondar. Which... On hit stuns, not so much. Uh, so just about anything we drop in there is gonna be good. So let's get him one of those. And... All right, let's give him a little more attack and general damage. I don't, hmm. Let's go ahead and give him the regular Rubat crystal, because I don't I don't use them that often. And now for uh, I just blanked out on her name, the Cathar person. Oh yeah, she's missing a crystal too. So anything I do in there is going to be good. All right, so the Rubat was plus one attack, plus one damage. That's plus two attack and a little extra damage, but we can pair that up with this guy here. And that'll be an overall upgrade, so let's do that. And her short saver. That's got the attack bonus. Now let's leave that as it is. And this next crystal was just attack bonus of one and keen. Ooh. Um, in or plus one damage, better chance to crit, or flat out pro. Uh, let's leave it at the pl uh, let's leave it at the better crit. That's the one I pulled off of the Sith, which has nothing extra in it. I didn't think it would, but. And same there. All right. So those guys are going to get sold along with some other stuff later. Um, yeah, that should be fully upgraded. That should be fully upgraded. This one is almost fully upgraded. I need to get one of the uh, improved energy cells. 
And while we're at it, let's go ahead and start upgrading that again. I think those were... Yeah, I didn't pick up anything new on these guys. And I don't think... I think I've got one of the armor upgrades, but I don't have any armor left that can take upgrades? Yeah. Alright. I'll definitely have to go through equipment and whatnot and make sure everybody's up to... Oh, that's right. Armor plating. What did HK have? He had heavy plating type 2, which gave him a bonus of 10. Alright, so yeah, let's do this. Let's go... This guy. None for the moment. I'm going to take him, upgrade him to the... Heavy plating type 3. And give him the heavy plating type 2. Oops. And he burned through his stun pretty quick. I might have to pick up a few more of those. Alright, um... Yeah, I'll burn through the equipment off-camera between now and next week. Because it is edging up on 8.30. And I... I gotta be up at 4 a.m. to get ready for work. So what I'll probably do is at the start of next week, I'll run around, see if any of these guys have anything new to say. And then, um... Uh, and then start the next set of missions, which will be heading down into... To the seas. Uh, oh. Is here where I think if I did the switch right, it should get into the thank you very much. <laughs> I definitely, yes, there we go. Uh, let me save this before I start rambling on and forget to save it. Save. Are you sure that you want to save the game? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. And this is where I say thank you. I appreciate you guys watching along. I truly enjoyed it. And uh, I stream Tuesdays Minecraft as a part of the Coffee Craft server. I was starting at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Thursdays I do Games Revisited. This season we're going through Knights of the Old Republic. And uh, having a lot of fun with it. All the archives get uploaded to the YouTube channel and there should be a link in the description down below to the YouTube channel. So if you want to get notified when stuff gets uploaded, I do have plans for some shorter form content to go up there as well at a later date. Um, still trying to work out scheduling and figuring out when I'm going to do the recording and editing because it's been a little while since I've done that, kind of, that level of editing and uh, a little out of practice going to take a little bit to get back into things. If you like what you're seeing and you'd like to help out, live.anonjunior.com should take you to the Streamlabs page where you can send a cup of coffee my way. Keep the uh, server admin for Minecraft or the Games Revisited stuff going. Uh, I don't know if that page still works because apparently the free Streamlabs page that collects everything together was uh, only free while it was in beta. And now that they're out of beta, I can't make any changes to the page until I become a, a Streamlabs Pro subscriber. And uh, as nice as that is, and as much as I want to do that, that's not really in the budget right now. Because right now between the two, you know, uh, I'm at negative 16 a month because, for the Minecraft server. And, and I'm not sure I want to start taking on any more expenses until I start getting a little little something back in just to kind of balance it out so i might be moving all that to a page hosted on my own site and uh hooking that up to paypal or something like that so look for that in the future the anon junior website is in dire need of some updates and that'll probably happen over the weekend uh over 
or at least I'll start working out on the weekends for the next week or so and uh, get that squared away. So with all that said and done, thank you. Have fun.